Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jesper Offersen and today we are going to talk about a sheet mask. We are going to talk about a sheet mask from a company called Nip and Fab or Nip Plus Fab as they say on the package but uh, their webpage is called Nip and Fab. So um, this is a, a, a sheet mask that contains a glycolic acid and a glycolic acid is um, it's an alpha hydroxy acid so uh, I'm sure you are you have heard about glycolic acid before in skincare, uh, but uh, usually it is something that is uh, relatively strong, and that is because uh, it is uh, the smallest of the um, alpha hydroxy acids that we are using. So um, what it means is that it will penetrate uh, your skin much stronger than, uh, for example, something like uh, lactic acid, which uh, you might uh, be using on a daily basis. And uh, Lactic acid and the glycolic acid, they uh, they do the same thing. It's just uh, glycolic acid is uh, much more uh, potent, so it should be treated a little bit more with uh, care. So uh, if, for example, you have had a, a wart uh, at some point, you might have uh, come across something uh, like this called a varti, and uh, that is something to take away uh, warts. So uh, it contains a high concentration of a glycolic acid, and uh, I have asked them how much the percentage is, but they, they didn't want to tell me, or I never heard anything. So that is something that uh, if you get it on your skin, that is just normal skin, then uh, it will hurt quite a, a lot. So um, in here, uh, we have uh, a 2% uh, solution of uh, glycolic acid. And uh, as it says uh, on the front here, uh, this is meant to uh, exfoliate uh, your skin. Uh, there might be some that will say that uh, in order to uh, exfoliate your skin like properly, then like not like for an everyday uh, situation then, but uh, if you, uh, if you like a, a really strong uh, peeling, then you need to go higher than uh, a 2% and then it most likely will be uh, adjusted uh, for the pH. So um, when we open this one here and try it on, we will just uh, have a little uh, quick look uh, with the uh, pH uh, paper here uh, to see uh, how uh, acidic it actually uh, is. So uh, I had uh, this one here uh, lingering uh, a little while because I was a little bit like um, I'm exfoliating sort of every day in the sense that you should not like uh, exfoliate strongly every day. So that's not what I'm doing. Uh, but I'm using a, a lactic acid a serum uh, every day. So I get a little bit of uh, exfoliation uh, in my uh, skincare daily uh, routine. So uh, I thought maybe uh, my skin uh, is already... Um, so uh, generally exfoliated that uh, if I used this one here, it will really uh, hurt my skin. So I was a little bit uh, reluctant. So um, I tried it uh, yesterday and um, what I felt was that uh, it just, it felt like it was just like moisturizing my skin really. Uh, it didn't uh, burn my skin or anything like that. Uh, that is not the same uh, as to say that it will not uh, annoy uh, other people's uh, skin, but uh, for my skin uh, it didn't uh, annoy my skin. So um, let's uh, open it and uh, see how it uh, performs. Uh, because uh, just say that uh, they have some uh, bubbles uh, on the package that you maybe can see. And uh, they actually say that this is a oxygenating a bubble mask for pure and uh, glowing skin so um yes there is a uh, charcoal uh, in this product here and uh, a lot of the uh, products they contain a uh, charcoal and uh, if you for example are having um if you have a fish tank, then you might have used a charcoal and uh, you put that in in order to uh, purify uh, the water. Uh, but what happens is like uh, if you are using a charcoal, then it will hold on to the bad stuff, but it will also hold on to uh, the good stuff. So it would actually hold on to whatever it can grab onto. And uh, the way it works is that uh, the surface of uh, charcoal is so large that uh, it can grab a lot of uh, stuff. So meaning uh, if you put a charcoal into a, a product uh, like this, it will also hang on to some of uh, the good stuff. So uh, when we open it, uh, it will kind of like uh, start to foam or bubble up. I would say it's um, most likely, I would say it's a sort of like a, a foam and it will foam more and more and more. And uh, if we just um, take the uh, indicator paper here, off like that, and um, dab it onto here and see uh, what uh, happens. I just put it down for a moment. Uh, 
it kind of like if you can see it doesn't really uh, change uh, color uh, if it was a uh, very acidic we would be down here in the uh, red area uh, but uh, this uh, is uh, kind of like I would say it stays uh, orangey so in this area here and that would be uh, around five or six so it should not be something that would uh, uh, annoy uh, our skin so uh, I don't have anything uh, on my face today so I just uh, put some water on my face I clean it with water and uh, a cloth like uh, this so just to add a little bit of moisture on the skin because I don't have any um, moisturizer on uh, at the moment so if you don't have uh, any moisturizer on uh, then uh, your skin will kind of like go a bit tight so just um, for good order sake uh, add a bit of uh, moisture so open up uh, the pores a little bit so now you can see that it starts to be a uh, foamy um, and it will get worse and worse or it will foam more and more um, and it, uh, I actually think it was a little bit difficult to um, open this thing up some of uh, usually these um, face masks they come with another more stiff layer that makes it easier to uh, unfold but it, it's doable so uh, it uh, looks like this and we just take the nose thing down there like that so uh, we will be uh, putting uh, this one on and then uh, it will have to sit for about uh, 10 minutes uh, they say 10 minutes on the front but at the back they say you can leave it on for uh, 15 minutes so um, I left it on for 15 minutes uh, yesterday and uh, we will do that uh, again today and uh, we will be back uh, in a moment and see uh, how it goes it's um, it's really cold but these face masks always are um, so kind of like a uh, adjust it a little bit the good thing uh, I found about this one here because normally when I'm using a face mask it's something that um, you don't want it in your mouth and you don't want it on your lips so I uh, didn't have anything on my skin but I did put some um, lip balm on my lips because uh, you don't want this uh, on your lips and you don't want it uh, on your eyelids uh, either but normally when I use uh, a face mask uh, I am uh, sort of uh, lying down uh, because uh, it usually it kind of like runs and drips uh, but I find that uh, this one here it doesn't run and drip it kind of like just foams more and more and more and uh, kind of like uh, stays put so it was easily uh, it was easy to walk around with it uh, on so uh, yes you don't want it in your hair either but it can be washed off and actually uh, what they say is that um, when uh, you take this one off then you just kind of like uh, massage the left stuff in and then you wash it off so you only just massage in for a little moment um, and then all the excess you will take off with uh, with water and i will show you uh, why so uh, yeah we'll be back in uh, 10 uh, minutes Okay, so uh, we are now back uh, after about uh, 10 uh, minutes, so uh, it can sit up to 15 minutes, but um, if we are just going to talk a little bit about what's going on here, uh, the minutes will uh, pass. So, um, first of all, try not to get into your mouth, uh, but as you can see, it sort of like uh, foams up uh, quite uh, a lot, uh, but it's kind of like it stays put, so you can run around, it doesn't drip or anything uh, like that. Uh, and I will say... Um, I tried this uh, yesterday and uh, it uh, I couldn't feel it on my skin but today uh, I felt as I put it on there was a little bit of a, a tinkling uh, but it, it went away and now I, I can't really feel anything but uh, this uh, I'm sure is not something that is supposed to be used uh, every day so uh, let's uh, take it off close your eyes like that you um, yeah, so uh, now you can see uh, there is uh, a lot of uh, foam uh, on my uh, face and uh, they say that you should just uh, massage that in to a sort of uh, a certain degree. Um, it has, um, it doesn't just go easily around, it's kind of like a bit um, rigid. Um, so when it dries up it becomes less and less um, easy to uh, move around uh, your face. So um, it is not like uh, you should uh, try and all that you can see have that massaged well into your skin. That That's not what they're saying. They're just saying that you should kind of like flatten the bubbles for a, a little while and then uh, 
kind of like press it in and then um, you should um, you should take it off where normally uh, when you're using a, a face mask uh, you will just massage uh, the rest of the stuff in and you would take maybe a little bit more if there was a bit more in it uh, and into your skin but you should not do that here because uh, the effect is simply just uh, from uh, the uh, glycolic acid there are uh, other uh, ingredients in here uh, if you read um, down here uh, you can see that uh, there are various uh, vitamin B's and vitamin C and A and all those usual things that you find in the face mask in here. But I think uh, the uh, the point of this face mask here is uh, to use the glycolic acid and uh, the other stuff there I would say if that is something you would like uh, in your skincare I don't think it's something that you should get from a sheet mask like this. This is something you should get from a, um, a serum instead. But um, it sounds nice when they put it in. So we just take this uh, stuff off and just again take care not to get into your eyes like that so I would say do my skin look a little bit different uh, maybe it looks a little bit more moistened uh, but I mean that is to be expected when you're putting something wet on your face um, so uh, yeah um, I would say um, it is um, an easy to use sort of a glycolic uh, face mask and to use it maybe like once uh, a week might be a good idea uh, but um, I would say if you are using a um, lactic acid like uh, every day uh, as I am doing then uh, I will not see a huge uh, effect uh, from a mask like this but maybe if I didn't use lactic acid every day and I just use a, a face mask uh, like this uh, once a week I would see much more of a, a difference uh, in my skin so um, I would say I like to um, to do a little bit uh, every day uh, instead of uh, once in a while doing a, a whole a lot so um, yes um, is this something I can recommend as such well I think it's if you can stand uh, glycolic acid, not everyone uh, can uh, do that and you should be a little bit uh, careful with it uh, and if it annoys your skin, obviously stop uh, using it. But um, glycolic acid as such is a, a good thing to have in your skincare, but it's not something that you should uh, overdo. So uh, maybe if you're not doing lactic acid uh, every day, then uh, this could be an option to do kind of like uh, maybe uh, once uh, a week. So, uh, but there are other uh, products um, that are using glycolic acid and uh, uh, um, this um, company here, the uh, Nip uh, Plus Fab or Nip and Fab, um, they have a whole range of uh, stuff that are using glycolic acid. Apparently uh, it is a, a well-known um, or they have a, a cult following as they sort of say for their glycolic uh, products so there are other things uh, that can be uh, tried out in that uh, series. So uh, is it something I will do? Well, why not? So uh, if you would like to see more of this sort of videos, please subscribe, hit the bell and do all the things you must do in order to be notified when I upload more of this sort of videos. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye.